we finally have news on era 8 of souls rng it has been ages and there was no news no updates in the channel they still have not updated that by the way and there were also no sneak peeks but today or actually yesterday they finally posted a sneak peek unfortunately they didn't pin anyone so you might have missed it also make sure you guys subscribe to the channel because at 110,000 subscribers we're giving away 10,000 Robux. But if we take a look right here, you can see a sneak peek. Unfortunately, they didn't pin anyone, but here it is. We can assume this is going to be some type of new NPC. Personally, to me, it kind of looks like a traveling merchant. Um, it kind of maybe looks like someone who's going to show up, pop up with a shop, and then maybe leave. But let me know your theories down below in the comments. And to celebrate the fact that that Air 8 is finally getting some news uh, today. We are going to be taking a look at the upcoming auras in Era 8 using the whitelisted aura channel in the Discord. Auras that are posted in here are the auras that get chosen from for every single update. So today we're going to kind of just go through and take a look at them and uh, maybe find some that get added. Like for example, literally look at this guys black hole it was originally a one in 67 million but it got added as gargantua and got turned into like a one in 400 million so yeah this is where they kind of pluck auras from so today we're going to be going through it and maybe finding some possible auras for era 8 if you enjoy this video it means a lot to me if you could of course drop a like and of course subscribe to the channel remember at 110,000 subscribers we'll be giving away 10,000 robux to a lucky subscriber Anyways, let's get this started. Starting off with Vanguard. Let's take a quick look at these auras. And I'll pick a few that I think we may see in Era 8. We don't really have a theme of Era 8 yet, so it might be hard to get a, a good idea of what will be coming. But uh, maybe just based off of some good looking ones, I can take a guess. This one looks pretty good. One in 120 million. I like the idle pose. You've got this massive greatsword behind you. The effects looks nice as well. I like the little like symbol uh, up top and it's kind of got like this like sort of fancy vibe going on with it. Looks nice. It's a good job. Good aura. Moving on, we've got Oblivion. This is another great looking aura. I've seen this one before. The first thing I thought of when I saw this was Exotic Apex. Why? Really just because of this flying orb. <laughs> uh, that's the only similarity I really see to uh, Exotic Apex because with Exotic Apex, there is that orb that flies above the character. It's neat though. It looks pretty big. Um, if we're like looking at the dummy size, like this looks pretty big, to be honest. Um, it is a 1 in 75 million, so another really rare aura here. Looks good. I do like the uh the, these two VFX, like the star VFX looks good. I like this like little little outer rim on the bottom. Not too sure what kind of VFX we got going on down here though. Kind of just looks like a like a smoky mist. Uh, so I don't know what's going on there. Really just does look like a mess. Uh, but looks pretty good nonetheless. Oblivion, 1 in 75 million. Aquatic WeWork. This is desperately needed. <laughs> Genuinely, this is desperately needed. But if they do this aquatic rework, is it then going to look too much like Aquatic Flame? Because a big complaint with Aquatic and Aquatic Flame was that they literally looked the same. When one was a four, uh, one in 40,000 and the other was a one in 4 million. So if they make this aquatic for a one in 40,000, I feel like this is overdone. And I feel like it's going to make aquatic flame less cool. So honestly, I would love a rework on aquatic, but maybe tone it down a bit. That's just my opinion. Let me know you guys think about it down below in the comments. Cause I'm just thinking, right? If you have a one in 40,000, that looks like this. And then a one in 4 million, that looks very similar, just orange. It's going to seem kind of silly. Glitch rework. Another? Another glitch rework. And oh my gosh, it looks sick. Just looking at the thumbnail image. Look at that, dude. Holy crap. Let's take a look. What do we got? Oh, we got a star. Oh, oh my goodness. Bro. What in what? <laughs> what in what? It doesn't even show it. I kind of like the question marks more. I'm not going to lie. Uh, this looks really good though. Yeah. Oh, the explosion as well. Dude, this is so well made. Yeah, this definitely looks better than the current glitch. Um, triangle head as well. Jeez, bro. I'm getting, I'm getting like a headache just looking at this. Um, the only thing I'm not a fan of is the one in what. 
I think it would look better if it was just wanting question mark still. Like the current glitch. But this is amazing, dude. What the heck? Yeah. Um, that should be added. I don't even have glitch. I don't even have glitch, but I want to see that added so bad. Chromatic rework. Another one that definitely needs a rework. Why am I looking at some police cars here? Hey, the police car is just chilling in the back. Chromatic rework, though. Okay. Whoa, that orb at the top is sick. What? That looks awesome. But what's going on with, like, the island image? Like, why is it such a low FPS? I don't know. It's bugging me out because everything else is moving at a high speed. But then, for whatever reason, the idle animation is, like, a lower frame rate. I, don't, I feel like it'd look better if the idle animation was smooth. Just my opinion, though. But I think this looks great. I really like this orb up top. I really do. Once again, I don't have chromatic. But if, that's good, if that gets added, that would be awesome. All right. We've got reflection. Okay. 8.5 out of 10. The creator recently made changes, so I, have to, so I updated this. Let's take a look. What have we got? One in NA. So, either a dev aura, or they're just letting the devs decide the rarity. This looks nice. It's a pretty simple design, I will say. But it looks nice, and I really like the concept as well. Like, it's a simple design, but you don't want this overdone, right? If you guys don't get the design, pretty much, I believe these are probably mirrors. And this is like light bouncing off of all the mirrors. So, I, I really like this. I think this is really, like, definitely extremely unique, man. This is extremely unique concept. I would love to see this in the game. Um, not not like it'd be something I'd, like, really want. But it's a unique design, and I, th and I think it deserves a spot in the game. Gravitational V3, yes, please. <laughs> Gravitational V1 sucked. Gravitational V2 sucked less. What is Gravitational 3 gonna look like? Okay. It looks good. It looks it looks better than Gravitational 2, but I'm also not gonna say I don't think Gravitational could get better. I think it's if this gets added, it's gonna go from sucking to sucking less to sucking even less. But I still think it can maybe get to a state where it looks all right. Um, I'm not like a massive fan of it, but I like I said, I think it looks better than the current Gravitational, which is an upgrade. So that is a win. What else do we got? Ooh. Yo, this looks sick. What? Ruins? One in 30 mi Bro. All right. If you guys know my channel, you guys know I'm a big time suck up for like any aura that involves a model. I'm not too sure why. Like Silvern, Sailor, all of those have like models as the main bit. And this one is one that has models as the main bit. I don't know why I like those auras so much more, but I do. And this looks great. I want this added. I really want this added. I would love to walk around with this aura. One in 30 million as well. That looks sick. All right. Keep going. Do we got Ruins Window? Is it by the same guy? It is not. It's by a different guy. Is it going to be a similar concept? What the heck? Give me this. Holy crap. This is the, so this is by a different guy. Wow, this looks better than the other guys. Oh my goodness. It's got like a similar idea with like ruins floating. But this one has like a stream like going through it and the models are like realistic. <gasps> There's like a shatter on your chest. And yeah, these are like windows. That is sick. Add that. Please. Please add that, bro. Oh my gosh, that is sick. All right, I think we got a few more that we can look at for right now that are currently in the White Lizard Aura section. So what else we got? Corrupted. Bro, what is up with all of these, like, glitch biome auras coming in? So, I know that oppression came from the White Lizard Aura section because I remember making a video on oppression. And in that video, I, no joke, in that video, I said... Um, I feel like this would be another glitch exclusive aura. And someone in the comments was like, Are you stupid? They would not add another glitch exclusive aura. <laughs> and then they did. So, I don't know what's going on. We don't need more. Please, we don't need more glitch biome exclusives. Alright, glitch and corruption, or sorry. Glitch and oppression are enough. Do not add corrupted on top of it. 
and this looks this looks too similar to the other ones to be honest it's cool, it looks good, but it looks too similar. I like this whole mechanic where it like sucks ball or uh, sucks blocks off of the ground. But other than that, like, is that one feature really worth making this a whole unique aura? I think they could just add this feature to a currently existing aura. It'd be cool to see these types of features in, in many auras though, like unique features, you know? Like um, the whole thing with Overture being able to time stop. This aura can like pick up blocks. Um, you know, just cool and unique features. I feel like that'd be a cool thing to add. There's that dev exclusive aura that can literally kill people. Um, and has like a pop-out animation. Very cool. Alright, let's see what else we got here. We've got Rage Brawler. Okay. So, a mutation of Rage Aura. And... 1 in 2.8 million? This? If I, if I got this, I would be mad. Because it's a 1 in 2.8. And it looks good. Like, the VFX itself is fine. I just don't think it deserves to be this rare. If you know what I mean. I feel like the VFX should be better. But it looks good. I like I like the glowing eyes. Big fan of that. Looks nice. Alright. Oh my gosh. We were just talking about these auras. <laughs> and the fact... <laughs> and the fact that we don't need more glitch exclusives. But this one, I wouldn't mind. Alright, if you make a third glitch exclusive, it better be this one, dude. Or can we get a null exclusive, please? Please, can we get a null exclusive? Null biome is similar in glitch. It's rare. Not as rare, but it's still rare. And all it has is undefined in it. Which is a 1 in 1,000. Crazy. Crazy easy to get. Outside, it's a 1 in 1 million. I want a null exclusive aura that can't get pulled unless you're in null and looks something like this. I feel like this would be perfect for a null bio. They they should add this. They should add this as a null exclusive. That would go hard. Please not a glitch exclusive, man. I would hate that. Hellfire. I think I remember watching this one in a previous video. Um, I, I bet it got updated though. It probably got updated or else they would not have reposted it. Looks good. I'm surprised it wasn't added last update. I, I think this was on one of my predicted auras. Because it's got that whole hell theme going on. And, you know, they added a new hell biome. But it was not one of the ones added. Alright, we've got a few more here to go through. We've got Lunar Nightfall. Alright. Let's take a look. Okay. One in one million. Okay. Yo, looks a whole lot better than Lunar. There's that. I like the, um, I like the sol or the hollow sword thing going on here. Not sure what type of sword this is. I assume it is a sword, though. Um, looks nice. I like how it's hollow. You've got that, uh, the purple star on your chest. You've got the moon floating around. It's simple, but looks nice. It's not overdone. I think that looks great. All right, Symphony. Let's see what we got. Oh my, yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't even have to explain how I'm going to be a suck up for this aura, guys. Seriously. We've got like three models. Actually, I count four. Five. I count a violin. Oh, he moved. I count a violin, a sword on your hip, winds... Um, more wins, but on, like, your head. And then a crown. Or whatever that is up above. This is sick. 1 in 175 million? I think it should be rarer, bro. Make this the rarest art in the game. This, this right here? 1 in 500 million. 1 in 500 million right here would go hard. This looks great. Add, like, an ability to it. Yeah, this is super well made. I hope this one. Out of all the ones we've seen today, I want this one to get added the most so far. But we still have a few more. Quartz Rose. Yo. Yes. I was a big fan of Quartz already. I liked how Quartz looked. I really did. It was only like a 1 in 7,000 or something. And I like how it looks. And a mutated version would be awesome, man. Because it just makes the original better. And I really like the original. This looks great, man. Hopefully that one gets added as well. But still. I want this one. I want this one added the most. Alright, what else do we got? Last one. Galaxy revamp. That is definitely needed. Well, I don't know. Galaxy doesn't look too bad. What do we got? Okay, so it looks very similar. Uh, the only difference I can tell <laughs> is um, you've got like a third galaxy at your head. I don't know. Maybe there's another difference. Is this? I think maybe this VFX coming off of you is also new. But this reminds me a lot. And I mean a lot of the current galaxy. But it's nice. It's simple. It doesn't, like, go too far away from the current galaxy. Looks nice. Maybe it will get added. Yeah. 
Definitely out of all the ones we've seen today, guys, personally, this one is my favorite. Let me know in the comments which one you liked the most and which one you want to see get added the most. Personally, I would want this one. I bet there would be some fire music with this, bro. Fire music, because you're playing like a violin. Anyways, guys, that is going to go ahead and do it for today's video. Taking a quick peek at what's to come in Era 8, which is hopefully soon. Devs have not given too much update on that, which is unfortunate. Hopefully they do, though. Um, I would love to get some updated uh, info on that Era 8 progress channel. We'll have another video coming out tomorrow. Let me know in the comments if you have any future video ideas. As far as, today's go as, far as today goes, that is going to do it for me. So I'll see you guys all tomorrow. Peace.